Pisces, welcome to Tarot Readings by Roxby. I am here to do your July 2017 Love in General reading. Those of you that are new to the channel, welcome and thank you guys so very much for taking the time to subscribe. So Pisces, this month I felt led to use The Witch's Tarot by Ellen Dugan. So I have prayed over your cards for love, wealth, health, happiness for the month of July. So, for my new subscribers, um, I always do the Celtic Cross spread for um, the general readings. Um, if I feel the need to clarify, I'm going to use, I love these little decks for clarifying. Um, I'm going to use the Spiral Tarot this month. All right, Pisces. Guys, if the reading does not resonate with you, start out right with the sun card. That's just beautiful. Front and center. I love it in this deck. Happiness. Um, if the reading doesn't resonate with you, you definitely look at your moon, your rising sign. For love, definitely your Venus sign. Those of you that would like a private reading with me, my contact info is always below the videos. In the about section, my website, um, the PayPal link is also um, in those same areas. Fix this just for your sake and for mine. Okay. So. All right, Pisces. Okay. Wow. All right. At the bottom of the deck, it's going to be the overall energy. This is the Knight of Wands. So this is very nice overall energy to have. You know, definitely all of you are very, you know, fiery, passionate, ambitious. You know, this month definitely having a lot of energy, enthusiasm. I see you moving, really, I see you moving forward. Now for some of you... You could definitely be traveling this month, but definitely very passionate and creative. Definitely. Now, we start the month off with Major Arcana, the Sun card. The most positive card in the Tarot. And honestly, Pisces, it, I, I, it very seldom ever comes up. <coughs> Please forgive me. It's amazing doing reading after reading how your voice gets, but um, it affects me big time. It really does. So, you know, this is happiness. This is feeling vibrant, success. It's joy. It is, you know, great health. Or you know, you know, if your your health is improving. It's amazing. It's amazing energy. You're feeling. You know, again, you know, more energized. Um, you could definitely a vacation. You could definitely be spending more time outdoors. 
you know, in the sunshine, it's that time of year, you know, taking a vacation you know, to a very warm, sunny, I like to say exotic place right now, really, exotic, you know, like just exotic. Um, you know, children you could be, you know, important at the beginning of the month, spending more time with, with children. And for some of you, I do, f I, I, I do feel for some of you here with the five of wands crossing you that you're dealing with some challenges. And I also feel like if you're a woman that's been trying to conceive, you know, get pregnant, um, that um, you're 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 definitely you've been um, dealing with some with some challenges when it comes to conception. I'm really sorry about that. Really, truly. I mean, but listen, I don't want to I don't want to jump the gun here for everybody, but. If that is the case, I, I, I really, truly do see and feel that coming to an end for you. You know, the sun is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful healing energy at the start of the month. And you're in a beautiful place. You know, with the five of wands, I see you coming out beautiful. Very beautiful. Successful. You know, but perhaps... You know, a small percent of you, you know, this is either you know, competition around you. You know, it could be jealousy, you know, challenging people that you know, you're, they, you know, you're just not getting along with. You know, you're having, you know, petty arguments, petty disputes. You know, it definitely could be in the workplace. Um, <coughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Um, you know, it could be in the workplace, you know, a challenge, obstacles, something that you, that you've been having to deal with, you know, maybe have to deal with people that are simply just annoying probably you know, more than anything else just annoying you know I see you really just absolutely just shining bright with the sun card here really just shining bright and <clears throat> just very successful Um, but maybe there was some, you know, some sort of even petty, you know, challenging energy, you know, like, just some petty challenging energy, you know, people that you, that you had to deal with, you know, this could... It could be jealousy, petty arguments, and not seeing eye to eye with other people. It could be in the workplace, but this could also be, you know, internal struggles. You know, you're trying to reach this, 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 this beautiful new place of happiness and joy. And maybe you're dealing with some challenges, but if that's the case, I do see that coming to an end. I do see, really, many of you... Just, you know, shining beautifully. But I do feel like for some of you, you could be dealing with some jealous friends, co-workers. I do think you're dealing with jealousy at the beginning of the month. To be very honest with some of you, I really do feel that. Now, in the foundation, we have the Page of Pentacles. 
So for some of you, you know, again, you know, a child or children could be important for some of you, you know, because I do have the sun card here, which does speak of children. But, um, there could be something going on with children. You know, maybe this is, you know, you and your ex, you know, you have a child or children together. This could be, you know, you guys just not getting along. But I do feel very strongly that everything will work itself out if that's the case. You know, also with the Page of Pentacles, you know, this could be communication that comes through. You know, it brings in a lot of happiness with the sun card. It brought in a lot of happiness, I meant, I should say. Um, and it, but it is extremely positive. You know, you could have received, received some really positive news in the past, or this could have been an opportunity, an opportunity for you to make more money for some of you. You know, this could have been maybe even some sort of raise, promotion. But it is, it's really positive. Now, in the recent past, you know, I have the Knight of, the Knight of Pentacles. Which is very interesting because I have the page. You know, and the Knight. You know, the Knight of Pentacles, you know, could have been your energy. Now, this knight is definitely a planner in the mind, cautious, careful. You know, again, guys, no gender. Private readings, absolutely, that matters for me, but not in the generals. It's a general reading, um, so no gender. Um, but, you know, I'm saying him because it's, you know, okay, it is a king. But, um, you know, very cautious, careful. You know, definitely going to plan things out, you know, one step at a time. Very careful. So this could be, this could have been you, you know, planning out all the, all the details, the steps before doing anything. You know, being very cautious, careful, but also the Knight of Pentacles could also be that, that slower moving energy as well. Um... You know, things, you know, could have been happening, happening very slowly. You know, but definitely moving in, you know, in the recent past with the energy of, of, of this night. You know, this night's energy too could also be a process. You know, so for some of you, it's, it could, it could even be, could have been, you know, dealing with things moving very slowly. You know, but but also this night out of all the all three nights is the only night that does reach his goal you know for others of you um <coughs> <coughs> oh my goodness Pisces the Virgo Taurus Capricorn could be important Sun moon rising. You know, also, too, it could be the change of the season, my allergies. <coughs> you guys, really, this is, you guys are the worst, worst sign. I'm, like, coughing through. My eyes are watering. I think I'm done with you, after you guys, which, really, I think I have, I do have two more signs to do. <coughs> and today is the first. I'm a Virgo. I hate being late. All right, so crowning you, I do have the Ten of Wands. So also with the with the Knight with the Knight of Pentacles, I was saying it could be a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn person. You know that was very important to you in the past, and this person could have actually have been the one had been the one that presented you know an offer. Of some kind to you. Of some sort. In the recent past. Now crowning you. We have the Ten of Wands. Honestly I feel. 
that whatever has been annoying you, whatever has been difficult and challenging for you, even weighing you down, stressing you out, it is coming to an end. You know, this, this is a 10, which, you know, in itself represents cycles that are completing. I feel for many of you, you know, if you were feeling burdened, feeling really weighed down by something, someone, a situation, you know, with the Five of Swords, but it is absolutely coming to an end, believe me when I tell you. For some of you, you are just simply working way too hard. You could have been presented with this opportunity to make more money. You know, maybe, you you know, you were definitely taking on way too much spread, entirely way too thin. <coughs> Oh my gosh, guys, you have no idea how sorry I am. And I think that <clears throat> just simply working way too hard. You, know, you were presented with this opportunity to make more money and, 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 you're, and you're just taking me way too much on. You definitely need to lighten this load or even ask people for help if that's the case. Now, really... Asking people for help because coming up around the second half of the month, I do have the Three of Cups. Beautiful in this deck, right? Um, okay. All right. Okay. So, for some of you, you, you really do need to rely on your friends and let them help you. And, and let them, you know, be of some kind of support to you. Our friends could really just simply be very important around, you know, the second half of the month. All right, now listen, for others of you. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. For others of you, you definitely could be simply, you know, working too much. You know, doing nothing but working. And, and finally, you know, around this, this time of the month, you're going to decide to take some time off. And get out and about. Okay. Not for others of you. And I really do. Not that I try to avoid this situation. But it's here and I'm, you know, listen, I'm, you know, I, I'm just here to deliver the message. Um, this is not not going to resonate in this way for all of you, okay? Um, I have 8,600 subscribers. You know, a small number of you are going to resonate with this Three of Cups in this way, okay? Small number of you. Let me finish what I was saying. The Three of Cups, you know, it's definitely a social energy. You know, it is, you know, a lot of you getting out and about more, spending more time with friends. You know, it's wanting to celebrate something. This could be something that, that you know, is happening and, and you want to celebrate it. You know, maybe you found out that finally you're going to conceive. Maybe you got that new job. You want to share it. You want to celebrate it. 
we know we have totally different energies here night and day like really With the Five of Pentacles being here, and I'm going to get to what I, what I was going to say, but I'm going to go a different way of approaching this. With the Five of Pentacles and how you see yourself, <clears throat> you know, this could be a challenging energy. This could be you feeling very sad, lonely, hurt. If you were, you know, someone... You know that that feels this way. You, know, you really do need to definitely reach out to your friends this month. Definitely, you know the five of of um, swords could also represent. You know the five of pentacles. Sorry, can also represent you losing faith in something or someone. Dealing with cha challenging energy. Or people, you know, this could be you, you know, feeling that lack financially. But I feel like, you know, you have so much love and support here. Maybe it's just a matter of you communicating, reaching out to these friends. You know, some of you... Maybe you even need to get back in contact with an old friend. I think some of you need an optimistic, you know, view. You know, and there could be a need, you know, for more balance, honestly. I honestly feel for a lot of you, you know, you're definitely spreading yourself too thin. You know, you're definitely taking on way too much. In your environment, we have justice here. Now, this is... You could be making a very important decision this month. But also around the... I'm going to say more, I feel... Third, fourth week, like the beginning of next month. Making a very important decision or... You know, receiving one, but I feel like things are coming more in balance, into balance for you. You're not working so hard. You know, maybe you were able to I don't want to say this, split up your time you know, from this to that. You know, you're absolutely becoming balanced Now, for some of you, there could be a marriage, a long-term relationship that's coming to an end. You know, definitely, definitely with this energy here. And you probably found out that a third person was involved Okay, maybe it's here. I think it's outright disgusting if this has happened to you. But you could have found out that one of your friends, one of your bitches did this to you, really. That your spouse... You could have found out that your spouse is cheating on you with one of your friends. Again, you know, that's for a very small number of you. But it's here. Um... So sorry. 
sorry, for others of you, there is a relationship that has come to an end. You know, you're probably making the, descent, the decision to end the relationship. Now, if it's not a marriage, it could be a business partnership. It would be anything that involved a contract. You know, so for some of you, you know, you could have made the decision, you know, to end some sort of business partnership. And I feel like that's the case. You know, if you're ending like a marriage, a relationship, I do honestly feel like it was totally weighing you down. And it definitely was not serving you. You could probably relate to this. To a business relationship. You know, that was not. Serving you. Whatever this, whatever this was, you did not get what you needed from this relationship. Whether it be business or romantic, I feel there was a massive void. And I also feel like it wasn't fair either. Like, you were the one that was always, you know, giving this person... You know, this person could have been a taker, always taking, 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 and never giving back. Where you're, you know, you were giving, you know, you, know, you, you were giving that love and, and that support. You just weren't given that love and support that you needed. I feel like it was not an equal and fair partnership. But listen, this is also justice will be served. And I do feel for many of you, you hold all the cards. This is more balance. It's more fairness coming into, into your life. This is a relationship that was weighing you down. This is absolutely positively the best think for you because you're going to be able to move forward toward something better. And for some of you, you know, the sun energy, you know, could have been something difficult for you that definitely came to light finally. This could have been a Leo person or even an earth sign person, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, that had something to do with this. And with the Three of Wands, I mean, in your hopes and fears, this is also very interesting. This is definitely a, a three-party situation for some of you. You know, you could have been the one that met someone else. Listen, it could go either way, especially in a love reading. If it's not you, it's the person you're involved with. You know, this is literally this is either you literally waiting for your ships to come in or waiting on things to progress or move forward if you're relating to this reading in you know this way. I still see movement and it is a beautiful outcome as well. It really is a beautiful outcome. You end with the world. So, you know, just like with the Knight of Pentacles, you know, a process, process. The world, you could, some of you could even be moving to a new home, if I didn't mention that. Sorry, but definitely. 
You're moving some. You're, you're moving somewhere. You're, I mean, you have some amazing energy here. Yeah, you have some shit to go through. Especially, I'm serious. Like, I don't know why this makes me so mad. But I do feel this. Some of you are going through this shit. Like, one of your friends literally stabbed you in the back. But you you hold all the cards with justice here. Karma. The bitch will get what she deserves. I'm sorry. I don't usually get this way. But, I mean, if that's the case for you, I really want you to message me. <coughs> because I don't usually get this shit in my readings. But it is crystal clear right here for me. And I feel it for somebody. But also, this you know, th this crazy ass bitch is not gonna, not gonna, you know. My God, I can't even pick this stupid card up. Is not gonna rain on your parade because you have the sun. All this other crap, nothing else matters. Most positive card in the entire deck. That's your reading right there. That's it. We're just going through the cards. And you end here. Which is... Everything coming full circle for you. This is completion. This is you completing a very long chapter within your life. And now you're moving, you know, into that next chapter. It's absolutely beautiful. It's a beautiful, blessed energy. I know it doesn't look like it in this deck. But like I said before, you guys really, I feel, you could be dearly dealing with a Leo. A Leo was right here too with the sun card, if I didn't mention that. I don't think it's an earth sign. I think, Pisces, I think you're dealing with a straight up Leo. Sun, moon, or rising. In a private reading, I would absolutely say Leo, but whatever. It's general. But uh, to be 100% sure, you would need a private reading, whether it's me, any reader. But as far as a relationship, this is really straight up. Really. And there's the other woman. I mean, the bitch is right there. I just really noticed that. But notice, she does not look happy. Right? I don't think so. I just don't think so. I know it could be a guy too, but I'm seen as a female. That's it. Because it is. Or this man did this to you. Whatever it is. Somebody did it. It's definitely it's definitely a three party situation. But also it is again, you know, com completing a chapter in your life. I mean, you couldn't you really can't end the month more beautiful, to be honest with you. Um And I also think that's why we have the Knight of Wands here too. You know, at the end of the month, going into next month, you're you're feeling very excited, passionate, and honestly, really, you hold the cards. You could go in either direction. You could absolutely be receive, be receiving legal de a decision, or making a decision that really is going to finally allow you to move forward toward that new beginning right at the start of the month with the sun card here. Now I have the outcome is the world. You know, that's some serious, amazing energy. The sun and the world. Like, really. You're leaving the month with beautiful blessings. 
You know, there are so many opportunities around that are coming in for you. With the Five of Pentacles, this could be really a pessimistic energy as well. A pessimistic viewpoint. I think some of you are even losing faith, but I absolutely think that things are going to turn around beautifully. Really, beautifully for you. I just, I really, I really do feel that. What the hell? Let's clarify this. What are we into? 35 minutes, you know what? Which is okay because, guys, listen. I'm not going to be able to do the weeklies this week. It's not going to happen. I'm very sorry. It's a holiday weekend. I really didn't know that I was going to have plans. Um, I will make it up to you. I promise. I know I didn't mention it in every single sign. But. Alright. The Five of Pentacles Spirit. It had to fall on the floor. I'm so sorry, guys. I do want to look at... All right, let's see what's here first. On the um, Five of Pentacles. The Wheel of Fortune. We just talked about this. That I just said that things are finally going to turn around beautifully for you. They are. I have it here, and now I see it here. Wow. Let's see if you're going to win this three-party situation. <coughs> Pisces. I, I really... I, I can't even tell you how sorry I am. I, I really... Okay, wow, look at that, the chariot. The chariot flipped up. Oh, wow, the Nine of Cups did too. Hold on a minute. If you want this, this is yours. If you're waiting on a decision whether or not you're going to be the one. Definitely. Why is it ending though? One more card on the on the on the um, three of cups spirit. Three of cups, Pisces, Pisces, three of cups. Okay. <coughs> wow, secrets, keeping hit secrets. I'm just saying the secrets. Somebody found out. You found out. Uh, we already talked about this. The proof is in the pudding. You are going to get what you want. With the Nine of Cups. And the Chariot. This is ultimate victory and success. Success. I mean, success. Reaches their goal. Always. This three-party situation was probably a secret. I'm convinced of that. You found out about it. Now I want to look at the outcome. I just feel led to. I really wasn't going to. Um, let me look at that. Wait a minute. Yeah. 
I really do. I want to know. Yeah, let's see. This is already here, so it doesn't even matter what's on the outcome, okay? Regardless, I'm just curious for right now. And because I've coughed through your entire reading, and now I feel fine. Because we're at the end of it, almost. I can't believe we're 40 minutes into this reading. The last few readings have been long. Wow, this is really taking its time, giving me cards. Spirit, the world. Pisces. Alright, these two cards definitely want to come. This can't even be. Alright, so this one would have been the first card. Look at. I can't make this crap up. This is the world card, right? The world. See? The world. What is that? The world. Right? Yep. You're looking out to the future. Really? Sure. Maybe a decision, but I'm not, I don't feel that. Not because it's... Because it's with the world, I think it's Spirit's way of showing me that... Uh, just that. That you're completing and moving into... into, an, into Something new and something positive with, with the full card. A new beginning. That's a risk, a leap of faith, maybe. That could be the challenge. Whatever it is. It's really, whatever it is, it's going to end beautifully for you. It really is. Regardless. It's definitely going to end beautifully for you. Even on this three-party situation. Yeah, it's for somebody, whether it's you, the other person. You know, the secret came out, it ended. That's it. I feel that. It's here. It's still over. Um, don't go nowhere. I'm going to pull some love cards. Just try that. These little cards up here. Oh, I am just a hot mess here. I don't know. I'm a Virgo. Maybe I'm just too much of a perfectionist. Sorry. Okay. Pisces. I, I take my time a lot, though, too. You notice that? Went to 43 minutes and, I don't know, it doesn't even feel like 43 minutes to me. It feels like 15. Did I think I talk too much? <laughs> Just wondering. Okay, that is just way too many cards. I'm sorry. It just is. So, um, I'm going to pull you guys some Romance Angels cards, too. Love messages for Pisces. Wednesday, July 2017, Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Pisces.
Okay, seeing as uh, these two cards flipped up. Romantic feel, I don't know what else is there. Wow, and these two cards. I can't dwell. They all flipped up. You wound up with four of them. Alright. Honeymoon, enjoy the bliss of a holiday time together. You and your partner, absolutely, like with the sun, absolutely um, could be getting away, going on vacation. Wow. And, wow. Engaged, married, maybe some of your friends are actually helping you do that. For, for some of you. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. I don't know, man. When I see these two cards together, I'm gonna. I, I feel like, um, you know, that it could be, especially with your with friends being here for some of you, actually helping you with your wedding. I'd love to know if that's the case too. Romantic feelings, that your feelings are real and worth exploring. If this is a new relationship, it's not only romantic feelings, but passion too. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. That happiness, excitement, that wanting to celebrate. Now that, let that, see all the flowers around here, around this deck. The flowers are a sign of abundance. I always wonder if I feel like it's in this deck it's like a special emotional connection for some of you with these people but then for those of you that are in this love triangle that are dealing with this one of these crazy ass bitches then wow that's just crazy wow change it's exactly what we've been talking about now it's here too in your overall energy you are transforming let go of the past embrace the light and joy of this new day look at this is this a coincidence just the colors in this deck i see the sun i mean really This change is going to bring you nothing but happiness, joy, for real. I've been saying that to though, really. I really do feel that for you. I really do. This, this is beautiful. You're going to really, this week, embrace the transformation. This month, I'm sorry. You're going to have the, the courage to really let go of the past. You're going to eliminate the negativities in your mind. Make room for all the all the things that are positive and beautiful. You're going to choose to grow. And there's growth. There's a lot of green in this reading too. Which is a symbol of growth. And abundance. Growth. <laughs> in this whole card, it's green. Spiritual. It's a blessing. And you're going to know that 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 you have to do you have to choose you have to make a decision or somebody does a decision needs to be made so that you can grow But, you know, towards the end of the week, I, month, I think that you do feel like you know that what you have to do, that you have, that, that you must do this choosing, you know, give, you know, that you're, you're just going to realize by the end of the month, you know, this could even be clarity. 
you know, for even some of you that, you know, you need to start this new day, a new, a new start, a new life. You really, you, you need to start over. And that's what's really in your best interest. Right down to the clarifying card. And especially if it's a new relationship, this is beautiful. It really is. I'm just going to go right here. Just for shits and giggles, we're not going to take it into consideration. Just see if soulmate is there. It's safe for you to love is what's there. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Remember I said before you hold all the cards. You brought, you do. You have the upper hand. For sure. Alright Pisces. Remember that. Okay. Alright Pisces. I did tell you there's not going to be any weeklies. Right. But I went a little longer with your monthlies. I didn't really find this out until really t today. That I'm not, it, I, I, I'm not gonna be able to. I, I just can't. I can't. Like I can't do it this week. It's impossible. I'm tr I'm still trying to catch up on private readings for when I went on vacation. I just, guys, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do so. Because the amount of readings that I get, and the it, the, num the numbers just don't add up. Please subscribe. I really only... You have to click the red subscribe and the bell. It's a two-step process. I'm sorry. I don't make the rules. It's the way they are. But if you could do that for me. Just so I could keep track too. I have no idea who you are. Facebook, that's different. I get a, you know, a notification every time somebody likes my page. But it's not about that. I don't get any money from having... You know, fifty thousand subscribers, uh, ten thousand subscribers. I don't get, I don't get paid for that. I get paid for, you know, the people that watch the videos. That that's how YouTube pays, you Google pays. But, you know, I I, I just wanna, for my own sake, and I would appreciate it very much. So, so thank you, Pisces. Pisces, I will see you guys back here with the morning oracle cards, definitely. Um, for sure. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.